choose for the stars If it feels right and made from my heart If you feel like you take me away And make it okay I swear I'll behave You wanted control So we waited I put on a show Now I make it You say I'm a kid My ego is big I don't give a sh and it goes like this. Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out moves like Jagger by Maroon 5. Very, very cool one. Now I've got this as a stage two beginner song, but obviously that funky kind of part is definitely not a stage two thing. That's way down the line. A lot of, you know, funk guitars considerably harder than open chordy sort of things. But it's a really, really good fun song to play along with the original recording just using your open chords. Gives you a chance to learn a couple of minor seven chords as well if you're feeling a little bit more adventurous. So in order to do this, we need a capo or capo on at the second fret. And we actually only need two chords to be able to play along with the whole record, which is pretty awesome. We're going to be starting off with an A minor chord. Okay, it's regular old A minor, and then we're moving to a D minor. Now remember with the D minor, the note on the second string, you can either play with your third finger or your fourth finger, depending on what's comfortable for you. Either one of those things is going to work real good. So it's basically four bars on each chord, and it repeats throughout the whole song. Okay, so starting on the A minor, you'd have one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, and then to change to D minor. The third bar, two, three, four, four, third. To shoot for A minor, if it feels right, a name from my heart. If you feel like we're going to D minor and make it okay, I swear I'll behave. I'm just doing simple four down strums to the bar. Yeah. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four, and then to the D minor. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, and back again. And it just repeats through the whole tune like that. Now, because of the style of this sort of pop music, it's a lot, a lot of production going on, which is what kind of, if you did it just like that, strumming those four chords for a whole tune, it'd probably sound a little bit strange, right? But being able to play along with a big production like that is really, really cool fun, even if you're just going to stay with the really, really simple strumming like that. Now, if you want to kind of fancy it up just a little bit and make it more like a kind of an acoustic version, um, a really nice strumming pattern uses this one I call Old Faithful, which is this down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. It's a really nice little pattern. It's kind of straight away makes it sound not quite so beginnery as just doing four down strums. And it works really nice with the thing to shoot for the stars If it feels right, a name from my heart If you feel like, then take me away I'll make it okay, I swear I'll behave And then we're back to the A minor again It is actually the same for the chorus as well But the chorus is really difficult to sing The, the rhythm of the chorus, for me anyway um, even with the simplest strumming, the slide jagger, it's just like, I've, well, whenever I do it, it sounds absolutely ridiculous. Maybe you can do it for me, but I didn't want to really, really badly upset Adam and, and just have him cringing at me doing a lesson and slaughtering his song. Not that I've not slaughtered Maroon 5 songs before with my dodgy vocals, but anyway, that's beside the point. But the chorus works exactly the same. The guitar parts is the same, four bars on A minor, four bars on D, D minor. Uh, another nice variation that you can do for beginners, which is really cool, is on the A minor chord, if you lift off your third finger, so you've got nothing on the thicker string, then open, second, open, first, open, okay? This chord is called an A minor 7, okay? So with the third finger down, A minor, lift off the third finger, A minor 7. And that's actually the same grip as that's going on in the original recording, so it sounds a little bit more like it if you want to do that, uh, that particular chord there for the A minor. And actually the same for the D minor 7, like D minor, we can change it for a D minor 7. Um, to do that, if we start with a regular D minor, we're using my fourth finger there, but you could be using your third again. But what you need to do is lift off the little finger and make the first finger cover two strings. Okay, so we've got nothing on the thickest two strings, then open, second finger in the second fret of the third string, 
and first finger is going to cover the thinnest two strings at the first fret, like a little mini bar, okay, covering those two. You could choose to do regular A minor 7 and then to normal D minor, that would work as well, or you can do A minor 7 to D minor 7. And again, it's just changing through the whole thing. You could do, when I just played at the beginning there, I played through uh, using the fancy bar chords version, just like the record, then I did uh, the regular A minor and D minor, and then I used A minor 7, I think I might have gone to D minor, not D minor 7, but you know. You can, it's just a slightly different flavour that you can choose to add in or not. So that would be enough to get you going through and playing along with the whole song. You know, I definitely recommend that. Even if you're a complete beginner and you're still struggling with your strumming a bit, just trying to get through and being able to play along with the record, because the record sounds so big and cool to be playing along with it and feeling like you're in the band a bit is a really good experience, you know. So, and it'll help you with your time as well, because remember when you're playing along with the record, it doesn't stop, so there's none of this, um, you know, playing away and then stopping and trying to find the next chord and, you know, th th that stuff can't happen if you're playing along with the record. It teaches you about kind of, if you do slightly miss a chord, then you manage to come back in time later. Right? You still have to keep your place in the song, you know, and it's an important lesson that's best learned at the early stages by playing along with original recordings. So, any of you guys, if there's some more advanced players there that want to see the actual proper chords, um, it's actually, you don't need a capo, obviously, if you're doing uh, bar chords. In fact, it makes it slightly more difficult because the first chord here is a, I'm going to talk now without the capo, okay, as if, you know, as if the capo is not on the guitar. Um, this is a B minor 7 chord, okay, right up at the 14th fret, really far up the neck, you need to mute the thicker string, then it'll be 14th fret, 16th fret, 14th fret, 15th fret, 14th fret, okay, but mostly he's not playing the thinner string, it's mainly that middle four strings when he's right up there on this particular chord. Now the reason I said it's actually easier without the capo is because, excuse me, if you're using the tip of your finger to mute the thicker string, which you should be, because that the 14th fret is exactly 12 frets above here, you sometimes get a harmonic if you're trying to mute the, mute the string. Whereas if you don't have a capo on at all, it mutes the string properly. So actually if you're going to do a big grown up version, you know, the big bar chords, you probably don't want to have the capo on. Unless you want to go into using those open chords, which is totally fine as well. Depends on what exactly you're learning the song for. Um, so he's using that chord, just to do a simple strumming first of all. But, if it feels like an angel moan If it feels like And then it moves to the 7th fret You got to move it to the 7th fret You got to move it to the 7th fret And then back up to the 14th Okay, that's the two grips, okay? It's just literally for the whole song Four bars up on the 14th fret playing a B minor 7 And then it moves down to the 7th fret E minor 7 Okay, so let's have a bit of a look at this funky rhythm now, because that's kind of the, uh, the cool bit, really, in this song, if you're a more advanced guitar player. Definitely beginners, don't be going to look at this, you might get a, you know, a bit of a shock here. Um, but it's, it's all about the strumming hand keeping its momentum all the time. Well, let me just play it for you, first of all, it's going to be this. Okay, so the big deal here, this hand moving all the time. I'm just touching the strings every time so you can hear the, the motion, okay? It's just going like this. And you want to have this... That's the pattern that we want for this song, okay? So I'd recommend starting off with this, is just leaving all the hand, muting all the strings, okay? Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, one, E, and a two, and three, E, and four, and a one, E, and a two, and three, E, and four, and a... Let me count that out for you another time, a couple of times, really slowly. Three, four, one, E, and a two, and three, E, and four, and a one, E, and a two, and three, E, and four, E, and a one, E, and a two, and three, E, and four, E, and a one, E, and a two, and three, E. Four E and a one E and a two and three E and a four. Okay, really, really good idea to get into doing that kind of exercise first of all. Now, next step would be to press the chord down just on those strums, okay? Except for the last two. So the very last two strums are, are muted, okay? So we'd have this. One E 
and a two and three e and four. One e and a two and three e and four. One e and a two and three e and four. One e and a two and three e and four. One e and a two and three e and four. Catch up. One e and a two and three e and four. Now you'll hear already there's occasionally little other notes coming in and that's okay. It doesn't have to be that exact exact, but that's the pattern that you're looking for and you're going to try and follow that pattern all of the way through. And there's one more little element here which makes it even super cooler, which is we're actually doing down strum, hammering second and third fingers on and leaving that down before the next up stroke. good fun all these sort of patterns you want to practice them just real nice and slow make sure you got it right make sure that you're keeping that hand moving all the time because it's a really really big deal um, and when it comes time to actually play the song you're going to be playing the B minor 7 right up at the 14th fret which is already a little bit unusual to be playing up that high but the other kind of element that makes it a little bit more tricky is that he doesn't seem to be playing much of the thinner string he seems to be targeting the thinnest four strings only so If I target all of them, you need that, that note kind of getting in the way, whereas focusing on the thinnest four, now we're on all of the strings except the thickest. It's a really, really cool little riff, this one. James is a fantastic funk guitar player, you know, and it's re a really nice, tight little riff. Uh, and I think that's probably about enough for you to get along with. So take off from this song, you want to realize that there's loads of different approaches to doing it. You can do it just like the record, which is, again, this, this funk riff to learn, which is, you know, very cool funk riff to learn. Or you can do it with the capo on with those open chords, get your D minor and your A minor chords together, which is really good for beginners. And, and again, no matter what level you're at, playing along with the original recordings is a really, really good idea. Really help you work on your time, getting in the groove and, and you know, and then just enjoying playing with other people. So I really hope you've enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you for plenty more lessons and songs very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye bye.